It's half eight in the morning and I think I'm having a panic. All I did was pack my bag and grab my keys and leave my flat this morning. It was all just fine this morning. But now I can't stop thinking of everything that I need to get done today. I can't stop thinking of everything. I can't stop thinking. I just can't stop. The anxiety switch is turned on. My body is going into fight or flight. My heart is racing, beating so fast it might as well be trying to escape this body. My bones are shivering and my lungs are in a state of chaos. Inflating and deflating, inflating and deflating a million times per minute, inflating and deflating so quickly, I'm worried that they will burst. But I've been through this before. I know it can only ever last for a maximum of 20 minutes. I just need to breathe. Count to three. One, two, three. But the more I try to stop this panic, the more it takes over me. The more I try to breathe, the less my lungs cooperate. The more I try to control my heart, the quicker it tries to escape. The more I tell my body that there's nothing to run away from, the less it believes me. But why is my body panicking when there's nothing to be afraid of? And after some minutes that felt like a lifetime, my body is finally beginning to settle me down. It's finally realizing that there's no danger to flee from. And I'm still trying to figure out how to control my heart when it mistakes me for the danger. How do you escape your own mind? How do you stop your body from wanting to run away from you? But it's these moments of panic that make me appreciate the little things, like oxygen, the water, or the ability to feel grounded in my own body, or my ribcage, a simple yet highly useful collection of bones. My ribcage keeps my heart from running away every time it dances to the beat of fear, every time it sways to the tunes of panic, every time it mistakes me for the predator and tries so hard to escape. It's five past nine in the morning, the panic is past. I am safe and ready to face it all again tomorrow. Anxiety is debilitating. Sometimes I just wish I was still a little kid.